Welcome. This is group two and here is a quick introduction to the tickets application for the purposes of assisting anyone who wants to do a quick peer review but does not want to read lengthy documentation. Basically, a uh, site can be accessed by directing your browser to tickets.citybasehub.com. The web page opens with a bunch of movie tiles and get tickets links underneath them. You can notice that when you hover over each tile, the shading changes and the uh, mouse arrow changes to a pointer style. If you are unfamiliar with the internet, usually this kind of uh, mouse cursor and highlighting means that you can click on something. When you click on a movie tile, it will open the movie trailer for that movie. You can close the trailer with the X or just click away from the trailer and it will go back to the main movie page. Clicking on the Get Tickets link opens the Showtime option for that movie. It will show the movie information along with the available showtimes for today and tomorrow. The showtimes for today that have already passed will have disabled links. But you can click on the button for the next showtime and it will open up a page showing you the amount of available seats in the theater. You can select your amount of available seats and this purchase ticket button will open a simulated PayPal to simulate an option where you would pay for the movie. If you click OK, that will generate a PayPal simulation and this generates a real QR code. You can send this to your email. Your purchase is now stored in the database. And so now if you open uh, your email account, you'll have see notice that you have an email ticket with your QR code, information of the tickets that you purchased, and a Google Maps satellite image of the uh, cinema location. If you scan this QR code with your phone using a QR reader type app, it will open your purchase receipt stored in the database. Or alternatively, you don't have the app. If you don't have the app on your phone, you could click this link, use this code for admission, and it will open the same purchase receipt, showing your purchase, the date, the amount paid, and exactly what you paid for. Now, if you were logged in to the admin account at the time that you had opened that purchase, you get a few more options when you scan a ticket. It will give you the ability to click on this button at the bottom, Mark Used for Admission. The purpose of putting this here was so that multiple people, multiple moviegoers, cannot all share the same ticket to go to the same movie at the same time. Basically, the first person goes through and the theater operator marks it used for admission, and it is now permanently stored like this in the database. From now on, any time that same code is scanned, it will come up with the voided code. There are a few additional options to the admin interface. Uh, you have full control to update all these tables. The movies table, you can update movies, insert movies, locations uh, can be updated. You can insert new locations. Same with theaters. And theaters, you can update the amount of seats available for each theater. Show times, actually, there's a lot of show times, but they're in a, there's a pagination interface that you can move between different pages to see all the show times. In addition, the search bar works on all of these different tables, so you can search for something specific and find only the show times related to what you searched for. Uh, another neat thing on the main Showtimes page is this Purge Old Showtimes uh, button. Instead of individually deleting all the old Showtimes, you can click on Purge Old Showtimes. It will automatically remove all the Showtimes older than today's date from the database. There are also account options to list the administrators. You can add new administrators or you can change passwords. There is a password policy enforced that will uh, ensure that your passwords meet our policy. In addition to that, it will make sure that the password you are submitting does not match any of your last three previous passwords. 
Admins are logged out automatically after 10 minutes of idle, of being idle, or you can use the logout button here, which will just take you back to the main movies page. This is our simple interface. The website uses prepared statements to avoid SQL injection and content security policy to avoid cross-site scripting. No credit card information is stored, so we are not susceptible to PCI review. We also prevent numerous other hacks and employ OWASP recommended security practices. No passwords are stored in the database. They are only one-way hashes. This is secure, fast, simple, and expandable. We hope that you have a better understanding of the concept and how it works. Thank you.